Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. How are you? Thank you so much for watching. My name is Anid, and my handle, or well, I'm known as Anid Blue Singer. And I'm known as Anid Blue Singer. Anid is my first name. Blue is my favorite color and singer because I'm a blues and jazz singer. And one of my goals is to hopefully, you know, I'm working on my album and get picked up by a record label one day. We'll see. But I also have a love for makeup, so. I have also a lot of makeup tutorials and reviews, etc., etc. So, etc. And I'm also an actress, and I do have a few things of me acting down, like in the older videos. And I haven't been acting lately. Do that. I'm trying to work on my album, so so that's basically what that is. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you for pushing the little play button. And remember to subscribe. Just just before you forget. Yeah, I'm just keeping you a reminder. Anyways, today we'll be working on what I got in the subscription this month of Boxy Charm oh, for September 2018. So if you're ready to see what I got and do a try on, and this is basically the result of the try on, <clears throat> a little bit of a spoiler alert, I'll take you how this happened. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching my channel and I'll see you in a sec. Well, hello and welcome back. Now, as I indicated in the intro, we are doing the try on style of BoxyCharm. Now, I've seen my videos, at least the last BoxyCharm, the way I'm doing it is I did peek <laughs> just to see what's in here and just do my face what it doesn't have on here. That way, you, I can tell you my opinions right away if I think it's good, if it's not, etc, etc. Like a first impression review, try on, you know, what we have in this product for September of 2018. Now, right now I do have my eyebrows and my eye set because, well, there's no eye pencil and there is an eyeshadow palette. So I'm bringing you a little bit closer and let's begin, shall we? Well, hello. Now, right now it is morning as usual, drinking my coffee. See what's inside the boxy charm unboxing. The first thing in the box is we have a little card. Let's see what the theme of this month is. Wild flower. Oh, I personally I haven't seen or know any of these models, but look at them. All of them look absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. And it tells me all the products that I have in the box. I'll read the description and the prices of each one. I'll put it in my video somewhere here. So let's begin. So, oh, and also on the back, there are coupon codes from Laura Geller, 30% off. I'll put in the code right below and when it expires as well as the Dr. Brandt VIP offer. I'll put all of this in the description below. Like I said, I'm. this is not sponsored. None of the money goes to me. It's just a card. I thought, you know, everyone has the common thing. We all want to save money. Get products for lower price. Trust me, I'm there with you. The first thing I see in the box, because this is how it looks like when, once I first open it. I see that we have three sets of eye pencils. But this is gonna come very, very good when it comes to putting the eyeshadows on. So let me open these up. And let me see if it, it comes with, I can't read what the brand of these brushes are. Give me a second, let me see if it tells me. Ah, Alamar Cosmetics. They're Ojitos brush sets. This is what it says in the description. Made with 100% synthetic fibers. These brushes are extremely soft. Durable and essential to your brush collection. The flat painter brush effortlessly applies color onto your lids, while the fluffy blender brush can be used to similarly blend colors together. The flat, tight liner brush is perfect for the direct color application on your lash line. Okay, well, we'll try it. The retail price of this is $18. Okay, I personally haven't heard about the brand at all. I'm, I'm being honest here. Ooh, they do feel fairly soft. Now this brush right here, I wouldn't have pictured it to be for the lash line, but I mean, I'll I'll try it. This, ooh, it's a bigger, because you guys, if you have seen my channel or any of my tutorials, you will come to find out one of my favorite brush lines is Sigma. No, I'm not affiliated with Sigma. They don't even know who I am. But this is a lot bigger than that and it's a lot softer. 
and this is the pack color. So for testing purposes, I'm gonna use all these in today's look. The next thing in the box, as you can tell, it's a palette. And it's from the brand Pretty Vulgar. Now I've heard about this brand. I've even seen videos, like dedicated videos, especially from Kathleen Lights. I think she's the first one I actually heard about it. And I'll link her video below in case you were wanting to check it out, but yeah. So this one's the Night Nightingale eyeshadow palette. palette. I can't speak English. Nightingale. So this is the front of the palette. And I absolutely love the cover of it because I do like birds. And nightingales, they're, they're just extraordinary creatures. Now, let's see what details it gives me about the palette. Because that, like I said, that is a brand I've always wanted to try. I just haven't had a chance, so I get a chance today. Now, according to BoxyCharm, pretty vulgar. Nightingale Smoky Eyeshadow Palette. Ooh. Made up of 12 highly pigmented shades, the Nightingale Palette is sure to help you create your best looks. The matte, shimmer, and satin shades are soft in texture, and the luxurious smooth formula makes for easy blending long wear. So that's all that, okay. The retail price of this palette is $35. That's expensive. <laughs> that's expensive. That's getting really close to like Urban Decay and two palette prices. And I think even at Becca prices as well. Hmm, okay. So we're gonna test blendability, pigmentation. I'm gonna open it up. Wow, these are, uh, they're really, really dark. I see why this is called the uh, Nightingale palette. Because I picture this maybe, because you can do a everyday look. I can picture like two shades right now. But the rest, this is a night on a town type of palette. It's like 11 a.m. <laughs> I'm going to look a little crazy today, but it's okay. It's okay. It's makeup. I'm here to have fun. We're here to have fun, right? So I'm going to swatch these for you guys. I'm going to do the top because this is so cute. It looks like a little birdhouse. I'm going to do the top. Oh, wow. Look at that. And it's so soft. I'm going to do nocturnal pillow fight. Really? I'm gonna tell you why I just said that. Ooh, break free feels like a little bit, it's harder. Okay, here's the interesting part. This very top, it looks like this is the widest, the middlest, and then that one looks like, uh, kind of like this one, but a little bit wider, right? But when I swatch them, look, they all seem to have close to the same tone. This is nocturnal. The middle is Pillow Talk, and this one's Break Free. They look like the same color. Like, very little, little difference. Or is it just me? Hmm. The next four here, we have Dark Side, Hide and Seek, Clutch, and Flip Out. So, let me swatch. Okay, I can tell that Clutch is a sparkly one out of the four, but kind of like the top. It looks, it's all on a brown family, even though on here it doesn't look like it does. This is dark side. That's the darkest. This one is hide and seek. This is clutch. And this is flip out. Um, right now I like clutch. But, mm, I have an idea for clutch. The other two, Hmm, I have to be very open-minded when it comes to swatches and so do you because swatches may not tell the whole story until you put it into the eye. So let me take these off and let me try the other. Okay, now the others, there are two on the top and three at the bottom. So let me swatch these. Ooh, I used it, I spy. Look at that. Ooh, okay, I'm starting to have a little bit of a a little bit of a panicked attack with the others. Silver Spoon. So keep in mind, this is I Spy and Silver Spoon. This is Swoop, I'm not exactly thrilled with it. Look at it. After Midnight, it's a little light, don't you think? And then All Nighter. Mm. So far, 
swatch alone, the, the texture, some of it is like really soft and others are a little bit on the rougher side. I got impressed for a couple of these. Like so far, I'm impressed with Clutch, I Spy, and those are the only two colors I like so far. So give me a second to uh, get these swatches off and we'll begin a look. Okay, welcome back. Alright, I got you a little bit closer. That way you can actually see what I'm doing. You can see the colors, blend imitation, blah, blah. Do you kind of think of a plan how to do this? Um, obviously, because there's 12 eyeshadows, I can't put 12 eyeshadows on my lids. But I have an idea how to approach this to make it work. I'm going to show you as many colors as I possibly can, just so you can see how this is working. So I'm going to take one of the new brushes here. It's from the... Alamar, Alamar, remind me if I mess it up, remind me, yell, Alamar, brushes, I gotta get that in my head, okay, and if anyone ever questions, I'm open to new brushes, like one of the brushes that I'm dying, like dying to try, is from, it's a Wayne Goss brushes, I haven't gotten them, so maybe in a future boxy jar, maybe, maybe, so, the first color I'm going to try onto the crease just for I can see colors because whenever I do eye looks, I like for it to have some 3D dimension. So I'm going to try Pillow Fight. I'm going to get the brush. I barely pat it and look, just a lot of fall out there. But it's okay, which is, I don't even judge palettes if they have fallout because that's why I do eyes first. The ones who do face first, I don't know how you do it. Congratulations, because I can't. But I'm gonna put this mirror a little bit closer. So that's why you see me looking down, because I kind of need to see what I'm doing. I'm gonna put it on the crease. And just a little disclaimer, I'm not doing a tutorial. <laughs> Even though I have a habit of just doing tutorials. So I will tell you what I'm doing, but I'm also just trying color, so just letting you know. I took a look for a moment. Do you guys see any color? Because I don't see any color. Let me try some more. Because I'm trying Pillow Fight. But remember, on the swatches, that was one of the ones that all of them looked like really light and white. So. You know what this uh, Pillow Fight would be good for? Like, when you put your concealer or your primer for your eyes and you use that shade just to, as a bay doesn't crease or anything. That's what it reminds me of. I don't really think of it more of a crease color, but you know, just little tip there. I see a little bit of brightness, but yeah. You know. So let's go in with a different color. I'm using the same brush, obviously. I'm gonna try to use all three brushes. <laughs> I'm gonna try to stick within these three brushes and not, you know, dip into other my personal brushes. Let's see how I do with that. Okay, so the next one I'm going to try is Flip Out. See, this one didn't give out too much uh, falling out. As the other one did. So I'm going to do the same things I did with the other one, just put it on the crease. That looks close to black. Does this look black to you? Yeah, this looks black. That wasn't my intention. Because it's coming out black, but look at the color. That, 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 that is brown, right? I'm not colorblind, right? That, that is like a dark brown. Huh. I'm gonna put another color on top, but let me just even out the eyes. I'm already here. Yeah, that's That's coming out close to black. I don't like that. So Let's pray this other color doesn't come out black. I'm gonna do swoop And I'm gonna put it all over the crease and see if we can actually get an actual brown. This one does have quite a bit of fallout. Look at that Let's see That's making it be even more black yeah, this is not a good way I wanted to start off this video <laughs> because it looks like you see it's deceiving and I don't want to go out with like a black eyeshadow. That, that's just not for me. So I'm going to give me a second. Let me go take this off, reapply some concealer and some powder and I'll be back and let's try some other colors. Be right. Okay, I am back <laughs> with the reset. Okay, so... You see any of the dark colors? Like really, really dark, do not put it on your crease. We all know they come dark. But what I didn't notice on Flip Out and Swoop, it doesn't come exactly the color it shows. It comes out muddy and black. 
Mm -mm. So far, not a good impression. Let's try again. I went ahead and I cleaned off my brush. So I shouldn't have any more color on it. See? Nothing. Let's try a light color. See how that works out. So let's try hide and seek. Now, you guys are my witness. You see that light, right? It's scaring me. It really is. Alright, let's try it again. <laughs> um, it's better, but not by much. If you look at it, it still has a little bit of that black dark to it. It's not coming on the eye exactly as it's shown. That's a problem to me, because if I see it colored, I expect that color to be on my lid. Not for it to be muddy or darker. I mean, if it's a darker, that's fine, but can it be darker to the color and not, like, transition to something else? Yeah. Mm, I'm not exactly thrilled with that. Let me go a little bit into Pillow Talk again, the one that I can barely see, and just the gold, or I just line it up just a tad. I'm just going to keep it the way it is. I personally am not happy with that crease color, because you guys see it's the lightest, I'm sorry, lightest brown here. But when you put it in the eye, it's not coming up brown, it's coming up gray. Even when I lighten it up, it did help, but it's just... Mm. So far, not having good vibes with the palette. Just not, I'm not having good vibes with it. Okay, so let's see if the other two colors I had in my head will work. I'm going to attempt with this brush. I Spy, you see how that's a really dark, dark color? and see how it looks like. I'm gonna put it all over the lid. Okay, this one's better because at least it comes up the color it says it's going to be. So this one's better. Okay. Let me try to add a little bit more sparkle because you know, sparkle always makes things better because right now I'm a little sore on the palette. I'm gonna use Clutch because I did like this one initially on the watch. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my finger and just put it all over the lid and see what it does. See? It's like a beautiful little brown. Intensified it a little bit compared to this one. Now I'm going to use this brush, no additional product, just to blend it out. Right now I'm not so crazy about this look. I really, really am not. But, you know, that's basically what, what I'm seeing with this look. So we're gonna go with the brow bone. The other side of the brush that I didn't put any of the color in, because remember, I'm trying to use the same tools that was provided to me in the boxy charm. So I'm going to mix Nocturnal and Break Free. Because in the original swatches, there wasn't really all that much of a difference. There really wasn't in my opinion. But oh, not really too much of a, a mess everywhere. And just put it here in a brow bone and let's see what it does. Better, not not as white as I want it to be, but it's better. This is the one color I was expecting for it to be a little bit more um, bright, but not so much. You know what? Let me try Max Fit Plus. Give me a sec. I'm back. I got Max Fit Plus. Let me go back into Break Free Nocturnal. Let me spray it, Ooh. and let's see if that's any better. Yeah, I'm not very happy with it. That helps so... Hmm. So far, the palette is not the greatest thing at the moment. So let's move on to the next product. So the next thing in the box that I see... So you have a little bit left. Is from Butcher London Stroke of Wow Roll-On Precision Eyeliner. Perfect. I'm going to... Outline my eye. But let's see from BoxyCharm a little bit more information. Okay. But in London, struck a wow roll on line. Create precise ultra fine wing liner. Looks with this innovative liquid liner. The ergonomic handle gives you insane control while creating your liner looks. The roll on applicator does all the work for you while delivering a pitch black pigment that meets even your boldest standards. Okay. Create with longevity complex. This quick drying smudge proof formula is guaranteed. The retail price is $19. 
so I personally am not that great on wing liner. So let's see how I do, shall we? Because it's not one of my uh, strengths when it comes to makeup, unfortunately. Like I know how to do it, I just, and too, I don't think it looks good on my face, but we'll see. So when I open this, oh wow. It looks like, I think it happened a couple of products. I had a couple of that whale. Are you guys able to see that? I don't know if, how if the camera is able to catch it. So let's try it. Oh, and the inside looks interesting. Look, there's like circle things with slashes inside. Interesting. All right, let's see how this wing liner looks. I'm going to put this mirror way too close to my face. And let's see if I can accomplish a wing liner today. Well, the thing I do got to say, this rolls on nicely. My wing, since it's not my, uh, <clears throat> my thing, it didn't look fine, but let's see what happens with the other eye. Yeah, as you can tell, wings are not my arsenal. I messed up here. Yeah. Well, so far I do got to say, it is pigmented and it does glide on perfectly, but even creating a wing, it, the wheel gets everywhere and you can't really get any precision. Like, look, when I try to fix this one, it it's just messy. So, yeah. I like it as a put on like the regular liner like I'm usually doing, but for a wing, it's a fail. Sorry. But other than that, it says everything that it does. It's just a whole wing liner oh, or maybe you could with some practice and with regular brush I have issues so yeah that's this one let's see what's next okay the next thing in the box is basically basically I can't speak blush and lipstick so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna step away for a second finish the rest of my face I'll come back and we'll try those too see you in a bit okay I am back with the rest of my face done so let me take you a little bit closer and let's finish it now, the brush that I did not use is this one, but I said I will use it. So let me go back into this palette and I'm going to use, let's see how we go because so far we haven't had very good luck with it, is Silver Spoon. And I'm going to put it underneath my lash line. Wish me luck. This brush, I, the, the color, it looks black in that blue so this palette has a theme I feel like everything in here is muddy and black you're not gonna get the colors that you see which is a shame because it's such a pretty little palette now this it feels like it's a little soft but honestly it is a little stiff which, which I agree it would be perfect to be up here and here I think with just practice and better shadows so next thing in the palette the Laura Geller from New York it's a baked blush and brighten and tropic hues. So let me see. Oh, it's cute. It has like a mini size mirror in there, which I don't see how anyone can really use that. So I'm going to use my Tarte blush brush. I'm going to put it here. I've never used a baked product at all before. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> I'm hoping this is going to be a good thing, but so far. You can tell I'm crying. All right, let's see. Oh, wow. Okay, now, it I should have known. It says blush and brighten. Oh, it's, it's a brighten one, but look at it. It's pretty. So, depending on your skin tone, this can be, like, if you're the darkest would be as me, then you can use this as a blush or even, like, a top, like, like a blush topper. If you're darker, blush topper would be good. Like to highlight those cheeks. Oh, I actually like this one. Yay, we have a product. Now, I, I did not read you what the point of this was, but did I? I am so sorry. All right, uh, Laura Geller Bacon Blush Brighten. Add a gorgeous glowy flush to your cheeks with this baked blush stunning swirl of liquid pigments are baked in Italy. Ooh, for 24 hours on Terracotta towels on hand finish into silky dome of powder. This smooth, long wearing formula is paraffin free and infused with skin loving antioxidants. 
The price is $28. All right, I like this product, I really do. Okay, cool. And then the last thing will be this lipstick. It's from Hank and Henry. Oh, it has a picture of an owl. This is like my second favorite animal in the world. Huh, and it's the, it's a MAC liquid lipstick and pencil pusher. Let's see what it says about this lipstick. Have your cake and wear it too. This frosted scented longwear liquid lipstick glides on smoothly while its vitamin E infused formula gives your lips the youthful look they deserve. It's highly pigmented and dries to a stunning full coverage matte finish that never dries your lips and never transfers. Ooh, that's an interesting claim. The retail price is $17. This is a very, uh, well, let's see. Let's figure out how to open this first. Oh, it's like a liquid lipstick. I was thinking it was one of those where you pull up like a regular lipstick. Guess not. Let's see how this color looks. Has a nice smell. It smells like cherry candy. Well, it's a beautiful color. It's reddish, but it's not bright red. It has a little bit of plum, just a touch of plum in there, and a little bit of blues is what I'm saying. It's a pretty color. It's good for my skin tone anyway. I usually try to shy away from reds, if possible, because they tend to transfer and cause issues. <laughs> but the applicator, I don't like. It seems a little rough when you put it on your lips. But other than that, it feels comfortable. I'm waiting for it to dry down. That's everything in the box. Now I'm gonna scoot you back and I'll give you my final review in the price. Okay, so today we finished the BoxyCharm unboxing. So this is the look. And if you're thinking what I'm thinking, it's a hot mess. I agree with you, it's a complete hot mess. Don't worry, I'm not gonna walk around the day with this, I'm gonna take it off right after the video's over. September, <laughs> BoxyCharm. I'm gonna tell you my thoughts of all the products, the good, the bad, etc. The Nightingale Pretty Vulgar Eyeshadow Palette. I love the packaging, I love the bird, I love even like the setup of it, I really do. I do not recommend this palette because even though it looks like it'd be beautiful colors, I even said at the beginning it looks like you could do a neutral look with it. This is a problem because this, every color that you put, it's muddy, black, or gray, even the lightest one is gray if you look it, it it doesn't come out with the color you push yeah so this is a problem even the light shades here it doesn't show up now if you're extremely fair maybe but for me no and even for the brow bone y'all saw no so this unfortunately i'm gonna have to give away to someone who actually goes out at night and maybe wants this palette but i personally don't like it but I like a one on colors because it blends that's why I give it a one. Everything else, not so much. Let me try out these brushes. Now these brushes I like. This one was very easy to blend in. It's very nice. This one's surprising as you would think it'd be a little floppy. No, perfectly fine. I'm still gonna test these with uh, my other palettes just to see if it's really was the colors to make it better or if it's just how these are. These are synthetic. And this one, it's deceiving because I was thinking it was going to be floppy, but it's actually very stiff and does what it needs to. I'm going to experiment more on these, so these brushes, yes. The Butter London Stroke of Wow. I like the pigmentation. I like that it's smooth, but I do not like the wheel thingy. I know there have been like MAC and other beauty brands that have the wheel situation. This would be good wings unless you really have that that knack for it this would be good the wheel doesn't work for me so for me I'm still gonna use this but I'm gonna put it with a brush because I do like the pigmentation and continue doing everything with the brush but using this alone not so much unless you're like in your early 20s and you have that really steady hand you could possibly work but if you have a little bit of a shake like I do no. so this would be a eh. and what I recommend mm, just under those recommendations the Laura Geller New York and Bake and Blush Brighten for Topic Hues. This I like. This is like my favorite product. Everything today is nice and bright in cheeks. For me, I think I would use it a little bit more of a topper than anything else. But yeah, this, it 
blends in perfectly. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the color. Absolutely perfect. It's Lara Geller. I, I don't think they would do in a bad product. So this definitely a recommend. Even like a blush topper. As for the lipstick, I like the color. I don't like the dope applicator. I really don't. But if you can tell, but it could be my fault, you see a lot of my texture and my lines on my lips. I may just, I didn't exfoliate beforehand, so maybe that could be it. But it's dried down. It seems to have stayed. It's pretty. And with not a crazy look like what I have right now, it may, it, it, it's actually a comfortable. Like, it's not bothering, it's not sticky. It's already dry. But I did say it was non-transferable. Let's see. Oh, it transferred. So maybe I'm not letting it dry all the way but uh yeah. but other than that it's a nice color and this is a red i would actually use maybe put like a gloss on top or maybe you know but this yeah i like it i just don't think it's 17 dollars worth but it is a good product the price of everything a boxy charm because boxy charm is 21 dollars a month so for today's pricing it is the total of everything is 117 dollars now that's incredible now do you think if I think this month's boxy charm is worth it? Personally, no, because the only thing I liked because I'll, I do like the brushes, the lipstick I'll use. Not like I will never use it. I will use it. And my favorite is the blush. This I do like, but it's just the way it's packaged. I don't like, but I do like the formula. So yeah, that's there. That's what's mm, there. The worst thing out of this is the palette. Yeah, we need to fix on that. But other than that, that is everything I got in my BoxyCharm. Thank you so much for watching. And please put your comment uh, below. We'll have a conversation. We'll talk. Let me know what you want to see. So I just want to let you know what is happening. My opinions on this BoxyCharm I got for September. And remember to subscribe. Push the notification bell. That way you'll know when my videos pop up. And also follow me on all of my social medias at Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. And I even have a Snapchat. Now I know, and on my Facebook, same handle at Need Blue Singer, and also follow me on my IMDb page for Need Lopez. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you next time.